So this is my first harvest of butternut squash and in order to cut this you have to use this very sharp chef's knife and then it's pretty tough skinned. Once you cut it, these seed, all the seeds out and you can save them or not but I'm, I'm going to save it for now and once you de-seed all of these I usually put a little bit um, oil, boil them, and then grill it outside on the grill. There's my, this is an olive oil. I'm going to put some olive oil on my butternut squash, including the, the hole. I don't have enough I'm going to add some more come on and that's it once I bring this out I'm going to put the skin down because this is pretty tough so, and grill it for 350 degree for almost an hour so I'm at the barbecue grill and I set up my uh, temper temperature at 360 um, the reason is once it hits 350 it's going to beep and remind me um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the heat make sure there's nothing inside and turn this one on turn that on and hit, hit the ignition okay so it's ignited and I'm going to place the butternut squash on top of this left right left side corner. I think my heat is a little low. And the reason is once this heats up, it moves the hot air moves to the uh, upper left side and I want to catch that heat onto my butternut squash. So I'm going to leave it here for an hour. So the temperature right now is climbing up. Um, it was started at like uh, 0 to 110, 167, etc. Um, at this point, I'm having all the heat in an equal position. Once it beeps to 350, um, then I'm going to turn this down in equal way. That means like I'm gonna use three fingers to have it at the equal position. So I'm gonna turn it back to the middle position and let it run for a few minutes. Okay, so my temperature is climbed to 356, 58 now. At 360, it's gonna beep. Uh, never mind the top number, because the top number is not doing anything for me. I'm just going to work off of this and so um, once I open it and close it uh, the beeper stops and I turn down the heat slightly to an equal um, distance and so one thing um, this thermometer, I wish I had um, the wireless one, so then I could use it from my phone. Um, but this one is pretty good as well. It has two numbers. Oh, what I'm going to do is throttle. Just open and close it. And when you clean this um, grill while it's hot and on fire, you can't use this kind of synthetic material cloth instead use a cotton one so then it doesn't catch fire and melt on your food so the temperature here is uh, vacillating going up and down a little bit but it's not exceeding more than 350 um, 360 that i set up um, i adjusted the knobs a little bit uh, to have my desired heat and today is actually a little bit um, windy and the wind also 
factors into this. When I see the temperature going more than 350, I, I turn this down a little bit and then see. Right now it's steady. Well, while butternut squash is grilling, um, being grilled outside, I'm inside playing with my seeds. I just separated all the seeds out of um, the seed pockets. And then these are the pumpkin-like uh, butternut squash seeds. I noticed that these seeds are pretty plum and slippery plum. It has some nice seeds inside too. So people roast this and put it in a salad or just eat it as a snack. It's pretty nutritious. Um, since I have only a few here, I'm going to save this for now. And then once I have my next batch of butternut squash going on, then I'm going to add more and then roast it once I have plenty to do so. I washed my pumpkin seeds and I'm going to dry it out and sort it out. What do I have here? There is certainly there's some that doesn't have much meat to it. I'm just going to toss that. And this one is halved. Toss that. Looks like this one doesn't have much. Is this broken or, or cut in half? Then everything else seems pretty good. So I'm gonna save these maybe close to 20 seeds for now. Speaking of harvesting and saving seeds, uh, this butternut squash was planted from the previous um, April butternut squash that we ate and I harvested the seeds and dried it out and saved it for um, for growing. Um, these are not roasted, those are just sun-dried butternut seeds. So it's April 20th, 20 and today's uh, 2020 November 16th um, it took us about I mean I planted it in June July so it took us about three three and a half months to to harvest my first butternut squash today see these these are my July um, planting of the butternut squashes and they're getting ready to be harvested there's one escaping out and there are more. I'm checking my timer and checking the temperature outside since it's windy windy and you know there's a sun shade alternating on the spot the the temperature fluctuates up and down but I'm keeping an eye on it. My dog got bath today Yes, and I'm just having her dry out outside. Usually she's indoor. Um. <laughs> yes, yes, baby. You want to go in? Okay. Okay, come here. Come here. <laughs> Very happy dog. She's 15 years old and still energetic. <laughs> what? What do you want? What do you want?
butternut seeds. Do you want some seeds? Yeah? Okay. Oh, good girl. Sit. So she's dying for the butternut squash seed. <laughs> no. Do you like it? You want it? Okay, easy, easy. Uh oh. <laughs> Dog eats butternut squash seed. Good. It's on. Okay, so it's been an hour. Look, oh wow, it smells good. And this is how I taste test it. It's really nicely done, soft. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and oh this way. Okay, turn it off. And let's see, my temperature went down to 240, etc. So I'm gonna cool it down a little bit over here and then once it's nicely cooled to be able to handle I'm gonna take it out put it on my pan bring it inside de-skin it and chop it so it's been about 20 minutes and it's nice and cool so you can see the skin can be easily peeled off but instead of peeling or like peeling using the peeler I'm just going to use a fork to scrape it scrape the meat first and then once i have it i'm going to place in each um, pumpkin into one zip bag and so that i can freeze it and then um, use it when i need it so that's how it's done and like using spoon you can pretty much get it within the scope like this so it easily pulls out so I finished these skinny my butternut squash and I placed them all in one bag this is one half size of a bag um, I thought it, it would wouldn't fit in one and that I needed two bags, but I didn't need to. The one whole butternut nut squash was about 767 gram, and I put today's date, and once this is completely cooled off, it's still a little warm inside. Once it's completely cooled off, I'm gonna zip tie it, and zip it up, and then put it in my uh, freezer for, you know, indefinitely. Uh, whenever I need pumpkin, pie or butternut squash soup i'm gonna use this um there's the one thing about pumpkin and butternut squash you can't tell the difference um if anything butternut squash is more nutty and sweeter and it tastes better but no one really notices the difference so i really like to have one in my freezer this can be and kept frozen indefinitely. That's what people said. <laughs> <laughs>